Okay, so this is how the bag in the box filler works. What we need is five plastic bags, four liter plastic bags. We need to remove the caps from each one of them. The easiest way is to grab them like that. You can take a look at that. I'll just bring it up and I grab them with my fingernails and grab them on the edge and pull them off. So we have five bags. The bag gets put on the stand at the highest level so that the neck is up as high as it possibly can be. We put the funnel in the neck of the bag so it looks like that, and then we take three one and a half liter bottles of wine and pour them in. Try and get the bottle down as low as possible in the, in the neck of the uh, funnel so that it doesn't splash and we get minimal amount of exposure to air. That's pretty quick. And then the third bottle. You can see the bag fills up quite nicely. You just want to make sure there's no wrinkles or bends in it so that we don't have any blockages for the wine to flow into the bag. And the third bottle is done. Take the funnel. I keep it in a container next to it so it doesn't spill all over the place. There's ready to put the lid back on. The lid has to go back on obviously so that the tap is facing away so it's towards the bottom of the bag. There's a little bit of air in there so if you lift the bag up like this Pop the cap open and just wait till you see bubbles. That's empty. There's no air left in that bag at all. You set your next bag up. And the customer does all this work, right? So we're just demonstrating. I've got a customer here that this is their batch, but they don't want to be in the video, so we're doing it for them. All right. That's good. That's where we're going to stop. Oh, wait a minute. What we've done is we have these six bottle bags for um, taking wine home. We've cut them open so that we can fit two of these bags into the shopping bag like that and it's transit friendly. The customer can go on SkyTrain or the bus or whatever. They don't have to have a car to get their wine home anymore. That's it. Thanks very much.